Hello everyone, today I'm making black eyed beans curry. I've got 500 grams of black eyed beans and I haven't soaked it, I just put it in water and now it's just cooking on medium heat and this will cook for the next 40 to 45 minutes. And we'll let that cook. Okay, now I'll just move the camera pot is waiting for me here with a little oil. I'm going to add a cinnamon stick, some bay leaves and two cardamom pods. Okay. And here I have three large onions chopped up. Uh, this bean curry wants a lot of sauce and gravy and you can achieve that by your amount of onions a thick gravy and then I'm also going to add a few curry leaves And now this is going to fry for about 10 minutes until it's just golden. Okay, and we'll be right back. Okay, so the onions have fried nicely and I've added 800 grams of stewing beef. You can use blade beef. You can use any red meat you like. And this is eight cloves of garlic chopped up. And if you have ginger, you can add if you like. I don't have any ginger. Mm. I'm still go get, go buy ginger. So I'm just not throwing in ginger. Okay. So this is going to braise for about 15 to 20 minutes and while this process happens come and stir but if you see the onion or everything is turning a bit too dark just add a little water to it and that is how we're going to do it for the next 20-25 minutes and we'll be right back okay the meat has been braising with the onions for about 30 minutes and like I said I added a little water here and there and stirred it so if you want to make a smaller amount simply half all the ingredients okay so here's a teaspoon of salt and I'll add just another quarter because this is quite a big pot I'm making and like I always say I'll taste later to see if I need any more I've got a teaspoon of cumin powder A teaspoon of turmeric and four tablespoons of masala oh this measuring cup is two tablespoons eh? this measuring thing so that's why I say four tablespoons even though I'm throwing in two okay. And give it a stir. Spices can cook through. At the stage, if you have a leftover tomato in the fridge, you can throw it in, grate it, and stir it with this. Okay. Also, if you want a sweet and sour note, you can add two tablespoons of vinegar and one tablespoon of sugar to this mixture. I'm not going to add any vinegar or tamarind or sugar because I made sly and this is vinegar with onions, tomato, sugar, coriander, a little salt. If you want the recipe, the video, just you will see it in my on my playlist of videos. 
how to make sly. So this is sweet and sour, so I don't need anything else. Okay. Oops, smells so good already. Now I'm going to add my water. This is about two cups of water, but I'll add just one. One in a bit, one and a half. I don't want to drown the meat in water. And now on medium heat, I'm just going to cook this until it's tender. It will probably take an hour, if not more. You know, all meat are not the same. But I'll come test it every so now and then. And I'll add more water if need be, stir a bit. And then we'll be right back with the next step. And that is uh, adding the beans. That will be in a bit later. <laughs> Why did I say we'll be right back? <laughs> oh, I laugh at myself sometimes. Okay, I'm going to put the lid on. And that's going to cook on a medium heat. Lower it a bit. You must come back and check every time, hey? Stir and keep a jug of water one side just to add a little bit. So the food don't burn and the meat needs liquid to cook until it's tender, okay? And my beans, they are done. So I'll strain them and then uh, we'll be back with the next step. <laughs> okay, so I don't know if you can see me in the pixel. It is so cold, I've got a thick gown on and a cap. <laughs> okay, the meat is done. Let's give this a stir. Put that. Okay, it's soft, tender, but not all the way tender. So I'm reserving that for the cooking of the beans. So here's my black eyed beans. Ooh, this is a nice big pot. Now you can eat this with roti, with bread or rice. It's entirely up to you. And now I'm going to add two cups of warm to hot water. And I'm going to cook this on a medium heat for about 30 minutes and do stir so nine again. And, um, and then it will be done. Okay. And uh, we'll be right back. Okay, so it's been about 30 to 35 minutes. Now you can decide at this stage if you want to cook it down a bit more and have less gravy and it's less saucy. That's especially when you have rice served with this. If you're going to have a roti and then I would suggest you cook it a little bit more and until it's thicker. I'm going to eat it just so. <laughs> A uh, little bit of coriander, fresh coriander. Oopy. And I'm going to dish me now because I have a movie waiting for me. It's cold outside, it's raining. So, and I like, where's the bone? I like a piece. I really, really like the bone. Okay, there is the bone. You see, it's basically just a bone. <laughs> and the fish up. Oh, liquor. This is so good. Okay. And of course, I'm going to put some sly with it. A little sly. And there you have it, black-eyed bean curry, one of my favorites. 
hope you enjoyed the video and i'll be back again with another video soon bye everyone